Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to D Diets, and today is week three. Yeah, can you believe it? I can't believe it. If you're new to my channel, give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and come along for this journey. This is an experiment, my friends. It truly is doing a plant-based lifestyle. What am I making today? Well, I'm gonna make some air fried cauliflower. I ended up getting an air fryer. We'll talk about it when we're having a little something to eat. And I also grabbed myself a rice cooker. I know what you're thinking right away because you're saying, there's no way this girl is eating starch. I am eating a ton of starch. But let me show you what I'm gonna put in the air fryer. And I did buy a small one, but I have a little surprise for you as well. Three days ago, my husband decided to become plant-based. I could not believe it. And Doug was a tremendous egg and sausage and bacon eater and meat and potato kind of guy, all right? But he also loved dairy and milk and raw milk and whoopie pies. He loved all that stuff. He gave it all up. He gave it all up. He even gave up coffee. That's, that's unbelievable to me. But I kept telling him, I'm really feeling good. I'm really feeling good. So why not give it a shot? So let me show you what I'm gonna do in my air fryer. I'm going to air fry some cauliflower and I'll tell you what I put in the bag and coating that I'm putting on my cauliflower. And again, you don't have to see me, you can see what I'm doing. Alrighty, so in my little mini chop, I put in here two tablespoons of cornstarch, a tablespoon of garlic powder, a tablespoon of chili powder, a tablespoon of um, smoked paprika, and a tablespoon of onion powder and a pinch of salt. And I mean a pinch of salt. And I'm gonna put it, and I wish I had a smaller bag, but I don't. So I'm just going to put this in a bag, okay? Now, I steamed my cauliflower, alrighty? Look how beautiful this cauliflower looks. I steamed it and I let it get completely cool, completely cool. And I'm gonna stick it all in this bag. Yes, I am so I can coat my cauliflower. And now I'm gonna shake it up. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it up. Shake it up. Here we go. Oh, we have two escapees. <laughs> I just noticed them. I didn't have the complete thing. Complete, oh, you should smell this. This smells great. Okay, so I'm shaking it all up, shaking it up, all the seasonings, and that's done. That was fast. Alrighty, here's my air fryer. It's a small air fryer. If I knew my husband was going to do this, I would have bought a bigger one, but that's okay. We'll just do batches. I'm just putting the bigger pieces in here. I hope you can see this. Yeah, I'm putting the bigger pieces. Make sure you give room for it to... Move around, stick it in, and put it to 13 minutes on 400 degrees, and I'll show you when it's done. Okay, would you like to see how they came out? The cauliflower? Here it is. Oh, it smells great. <laughs> it just smells great. Now I'm gonna sit down, and I'm gonna show you what else I'm having. If you think I'm just eating a, a dish of cauliflower, you would be mistaken. <laughs> well, here we are. I have the cauliflower, I have lentils, and I have a big heaping amount of rice underneath. What I put in the lentils, just so that you know, was a pound of lentils. I put in the dehydrated, I wanna get close so you can really see the deliciousness. Look at the steam, do you see it? Um, a pound of lentils in with some water, along with the dehydrated peppers that I bought. Remember I bought those peppers? And carrots. So there's about four carrots in here that I cut up, some onion, put it all in a pot, let it cook, and we're all gonna try it together. Now this was the first time that I made the cauliflower, so I wanna try that first. Yes, I do. Mmm, mmm. Oh, we could taste the chili powder. Mm. I think I would have used one tablespoon of cornstarch versus two. So if I do this again, I'm going to do this with one tablespoon of cornstarch. 
Let's dig into this. Let's take a massive bite. It's really hot though, so I can't take a massive bite. I had a little leftover um, broccoli. I stuck it in here with the um, as the cooking of the lentils was going on. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that is delicious. That is so good. So week three, how do I feel? I feel great. I feel great. The last time I ate was, and I'm gonna tell you what time it is right now. It is one o'clock in the afternoon. And the last time I ate was seven o'clock last night. When you eat like this, you're never really hungry. So the last time I ate, so I fasted all that amount of time before I had another meal. I will finish off this whole entire dish. I want you to know, nothing goes to waste. I eat it all. Mmm, mmm. So what have I learned in three weeks? I've learned that I feel better, sleeping better. And I've also learned craving versus hunger. So if you don't think that I'm still craving a piece of chocolate cake with frosting, lots of frosting, or a bag of potato chips, you would be mistaken. I crave them, but I say to myself, Denise, is it a craving or is it hunger? And I answer myself honestly, it's a craving. Hunger is when you are famished, just famished, and you want to eat. That's hunger. So I've learned to make that difference in my brain. It only took 61 years to tell myself that. Ridiculous. And found out that starch, and if you go to Dr. McDougall, because that's where I learned all, all, the, all of these things, if you go to Dr. McDougall on YouTube and you just look at the starch solution and all the people that are doing plant-based, but him especially, because He's got great information. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Lentils are high in protein. So I'm getting my protein in beans. I'm getting my protein in rice. I'm even getting my fat in rice. If you're new to the channel, you have to know that I gave up all oil, all um, meat, all um, sugar, gave up dairy, gave it all up. I do not eat vegan cheese, vegan meats, no. When you do plant-based, basically it is, did it come from a tree, a bush, or under the ground? Eat it, eat it, and eat, and eat it in quantity. And you can see that this dish is not small by any stretch of the imagination. Mmm, mmm. I don't know if you can hear the crispiness on the cauliflower. Mmm. 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 I forgot a napkin. This is delicious. I bought a rice cooker. I, I cook in batches now. I made 10 cups of rice. Well, in my rice cooker. I make 5 cups of rice and it fills up that whole gosh darn rice cooker. Mmm. I'm eating rice. I'm eating potatoes. Oh, my air French fries are delicious. I love them. Mm. Dip it in the ketchup. Ooh, lordness, it's so good. But the fat you eat is the fat you wear. And I'm learning that too. There's a lot of things to this that I'm learning. That's why I'm so happy you're coming on this journey with me. And it's an experiment. But so far... I feel, I have not weighed myself. I will not be weighing myself until July 9th, but don't go by that date because guys, it's still June. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, this is so good. This is so, so delicious. I'm telling, I love lentil. Mm. Mm. But, um, Cravings. How do I avoid these cravings? I just tell myself, because I know a lot of you are out there right now going, well, how does she really control the craving? I ask myself, I literally say it out loud sometimes 
Are you craving it or are you starving? Are you hungry? And like Chef AJ says all the time, are you starving enough to eat a plate of vegetables? And if the answer is no, you're not, you ain't starving. You're not starving. So I eat fruit, lots of fruit. Yes, I do. I have every kind of vegetable known to man and every starch. Mm. Mm. This is so good. You eat till you're full. There's no counting points. There's no calculator. There's no way in that I have to weigh my food. Nothing. Nothing. When I tell you nothing, it is nothing. And I love that. There's a piece of rice just came flying out of my mouth. But um, this has to be the easiest, simplest thing I could have ever done. I wish I knew about this years ago. I really do. But I just wanted to show you what I was eating because this is so good. Mmm. Mmm. I wish you were here. I wish you could try this. But this has to be the most easiest thing I have ever done in my entire life. Now, we will know in another 10 days from now um, or nine days from now what the scale says. I haven't jumped on it. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you have I lost weight. Now, do I see it in my face? Yes, I do. I can see it. I can see it in the camera. Um, I'm going to tell you what, what triggered me. I'm going to I'm going to tell you what triggered me. I don't know if you got a chance to see the question and answer video that Doug and I did where we were sitting in the, in the back room on the floor and I looked at my face and I went, it is so bloated. And I kept looking at it and I was like, you know what? This is not good. This is so unhealthy. I look so unhealthy. I've got to make changes, but really good, healthy changes. Again, if it wasn't for Patty, my friend Patty, Patty Too Mad, you can go to her uh, YouTube channel. I would have never known about this because I was always taught to believe that you can have carbohydrates. I've heard it so many times. Oh, it's going to turn to sugar. Oh my goodness, it's going to be terrible. Now, again, we don't know what the weight is, but come on, guys. I can see it in my face, so I know I've lost something. Eating carbs, eating bread, eating pasta, whole wheat, eating rice, eating potatoes, eating sweet potatoes, eating quinoa, all those things which are considered carbohydrates that you're supposed to be like, no, no, no. I've been eating. Even beans and legumes. As a dog. You are told, right, Lilith, you are told you can't have those. Well, you know what? I can and I will. Mm. Because seriously, we're starch eaters. That's what we are. We're starch eaters. So yeah, I gave up oil. I gave up meat. I gave up dairy. I gave up sugar. But you know what? Look what I'm getting in return. I'm getting real food, delicious food. And I can't complain. I really cannot complain. When I walk away from a table, I feel full. I feel full. I can't say it. That happened before when I was just, you know, eating small amounts of food to try to get that scale to move and exercising three times a day. I never had that feeling. Mm. Mm. So my friends, until I see you all the next time, be kind to one another. The heart, that's all that matters. If you want to try this, you can get me over on my Instagram page. We can talk over there. I can tell you what I'm doing. If you need me to call you, I will. It's not a big deal. We can talk to one another. I found something that if you are and you have suffered with morbid obesity, and that would be me. I'm not talking about somebody that has to lose 10 pounds. This is healthy. My husband is doing this. And Doug is not obese, but Doug is still 30 pounds overweight. So I'm a big girl. I have tried every diet on the planet, but I never tried this ever. And you know what? I think it's working. So till I see you all the next time, take it easy, my friends. Be kind to one another. The heart that truly is all that matters. And I'm going to finish it. Look at this. I haven't even put a dent in this thing, but I'm going to finish it. I'll talk to you all soon. Take it easy, my friends.